Welcome back to On The Beat. I'm your host, Rachel Hurt, and today we have nurse whip practitioner Denise Turner from Children's Health Center of Columbus talking us through some ways to stay well through this cold and flu season this year. Welcome, Denise. Good morning. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Very glad to see you in that white coat. Thank you. That's great. Well, I've got some questions. As a mother of an 11-year-old, it's a really intense flu season already, and it's mm -hmm. only the beginning of November. So some viewers have submitted some questions, and I was hoping that you could shed some light on those sure. today. The first question comes from a new mother and it says, what is RSV and who is susceptible? Okay, so RSV is a respiratory virus, mm -hmm. much like flu, cold, those are both viruses. But respiratory, um, RSV is a more intense uh, respiratory virus. We see it among newborns, mm -hmm. we see it among the uh, immunocompromised, we see it among the elderly. But right now in our clinic, we're seeing it with our premature babies, mm -hmm. um, our under two, mm -hmm. our babies that are in daycare. So um, it, it's quite um, an aggressive virus. Um, we see cough, we see fever, we see um, these, these babies are nose breathers. And mm -hmm. so a lot of times some of our um, more aggressive symptoms are um, they have a decreased appetite. Okay. Because if you're feeding the baby a bottle, they can't, they can't breathe. breathe. Right. Um, babies um, will then resort to what we call belly breathing. And so their little bellies um, uh, do what's called retractions and they, their little belly does little waves. And so that's a, that, that's, that's a symptom that you need to absolutely sure. bring them into our clinic so that we can check them out. Some things that, that you can do to, to help protect your child is when you bring that baby home from the hospital and and um, have that new baby, make sure that nobody's kissing that baby. Um, that helps protect your baby. Mm -hmm. and if you have toddlers around that baby, make sure that they're washing their hands as well as everybody else. Toddlers yeah. love to put their hands in their mouth. Busy little hands. Yes, yeah, and right. they carry those little those little viruses. They do. And so therefore, make sure that the toddlers are washing their hands and everybody else around um, that baby and the other children are washing their hands. Okay, good to know. It's hard to keep a toddler's hands uh, clean, especially is, this time of year. Well, our second question is, who needs a flu vaccine and how does it protect my child? Okay, so. Everybody needs a flu vaccine. Everybody over the age of six months needs a flu vaccine. Oh, okay. So that will help protect you and your child, but mm -hmm. make, make sure you understand that it takes about two weeks for your body to build immunity. Um, and it is not a guaranteed immunity. Sure. Um, it takes, you know, the CDC, everyone, we build the flu vaccine on last year's flu. Okay. And so this year, the American Academy of Pediatrics has stated that there's about four um, uh, flus. Um, variants that are variants out there already? Of the flu. Yes. Oh, wow. And so we've already seen flu A and flu B, so we can expect to see maybe two more. Oh, goodness. And they have been quite active. So, um, yeah, we so need to. So very important to get your flu shot. Go ahead and get it now if you haven't yes, already gotten you, it. If you are feeling well, no flu, uh, no fever, mm -hmm. come in uh, and see us and we will be happy to help you with your flu vaccine. Fantastic. Well, thank yes. you for sharing that information with us. If you want to know more about the flu, RSV, or any of those cold weather maladies that tend to pop up this time of year, contact Denise and someone at the staff of the clinic and they will give you all the information that you need, help you make an appointment, and get set up to come in and get well. We'll be back after this short break. <music> 